Google Kobe's deadless termite and pest control. Guaranteed service you can trust. Call 727-462-0400. And we're back. And today's subject is caterpillars. Um, some of you may have noticed uh, when you start to have uh, the leaves fall off, especially in in, in uh, heavily oak, uh, where there's a lot of oak trees at, in the uh, Clearwater, St. Pete, Tampa Bay area, you have a um, this little, uh, when the oak leaves fall off, they start to come back on, you'll have the little tiny green uh, uh, worm, well, they look like worms, but they're caterpillars. And um, they're, they're in the process of trying to, uh, they string their silk down and you run into them and you clean your face off and it's a, it's a mess. Um, there's not a lot you can do for those. Uh, and they're going to turn into this little tiny moth. You do not, do not eat a lot. The moths don't eat it, really don't eat anything, but the caterpillars will uh, feed off of the trees. Um, so we'll see a lot of those. And that's what we've seen here recently. And unfortunately, like I said, there's not a lot you can do with them. Um, if you have a massive, massive problems, uh, there, there are some ways to treat trees, but it's, 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 it's usually not an issue or not a big enough issue to go ahead and warrant the expense. The ones that I am more concerned with, and these are the ones that I, I, I recommend that you be cautious of, if you see a fuzzy caterpillar, now they can be tank caterpillars, saddlebacks, there can be a number of different ones out there. They're all, in fact, those are all over the world. Um, and they are extremely um, uh, uh, venomous. And I can't understand it's venomous because you, if, if you, you're, you're not going to get bit. But if you touch them, those spikes on their back light you on fire. Unfortunately, I had the uh, one time I had that situation to where um, I was doing a termite treatment around a pro- property and walked through some shrubs and my entire arm went on fire. I mean, instantaneous, boom, instant. From one side to the other, it was, it was burning. And I said, what the heck was that? And um, and it was a little tiny caterpillar on the bottom of the leaf, and the thing was no bigger than that. I mean, it was, it was tiny. Uh, so I didn't even see it. Um, and I had never, on that particular plant, I'd never seen them since then. That was the only time I've ever seen them in that area uh, or on that type of plant. And in all honesty, I really don't see a lot of them. Um, uh, but when you do, and if it's fuzzy, just stay away. I mean, that's that's the best thing I can date. Now, if you have, have multiples, and we you definitely want to be aggressive and treat them. And if you have kids, absolutely, you want to you want to treat for these things. Um, like I said, usually their 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 lifespan is pretty small. You know, caterpillar, they're trying to find what they need to so they can make a cocoon and. And, and, and go on from a, to, to, to a butterfly or a moth. Um, so it's not a long a long duration. Um, some of them are, are, if you look at the oleander caterpillars, um, they, they make these black webs. And, and if you have a, a, a large oleander tree, you can literally have your entire underside of your eaves just blackened with thousands of cocoons, one on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. Um, uh, a lot of people don't put um, uh, those type of plants in that can cause those type of problems. Um, what was it? The uh, not crepe myrtles. The I can't remember which one. It was. But there's there's several plants, and that oak trees are, are are known for. You can have tent caterpillars as well as what well, those little little green ones, um, and then. Um, uh, Bougainvilleas, that was the other one. Uh, Bougainvilleas uh, have a problem as well as oleander caterpillars. And, and just about anything, uh, I mean, if it, if it is um, uh, in their diet, they'll go see that. If you had monarchs, there would be the milkweed is what you would do. But that the, most people want them, the monarchs because of the, how pretty the, the butterflies are. Um, so, but long and short being is that uh, if it's fuzzy, leave it alone. Um, if you have more than one, uh, you probably have a lot more and you want to do some type of application or treatment on your shrubs. Uh, usually a lawn company is what you want to do with that. So, anyway, 
And I'm Kobe with Kobe's Tentless Termite and Pest Control. And as long as God keeps making them, we'll keep killing them. And I hope you find that helpful. You have a good day. Google Kobe's Tentless Termite and Pest Control. Guaranteed service you can trust. Call 727-462-0400. Hi, I'm Kobe with Kobe's Tentless Termite and Pest Control. And if you're like most people, your home is your most valuable possession. And you want to protect it from termites, roaches, ants, rats, mice, and any other unwanted pests that can cause serious damage and disease to you, your family, and your pets. At Kobe's, we understand that. We're a full-service pest control company, helping folks just like you live pest-free lives. So call Kobe's today, 727-462-0400 for a free consultation and inspection. And visit our website, kobespestcontrol.com. And always remember, as long as God keeps making them, we'll keep killing them. Thanks, and you have a great day. Google Kobe's Tentless Termite and Pest Control. Guaranteed service you can trust. Call 727-462-0400.